Hi guys, this is Sarah from The Savvy Professor. In today's video, we'll discuss the difference between AGM and gel batteries and how they differentiate. So, the main difference between AGM and gel batteries is the construction and design. An AGM battery's electrolyte comprises a fiberglass membrane mat soaked in sulfuric acid. A gel battery's electrolyte comprises a gel-like mixture of sulfuric acid and silica compounds. The sulfuric acid is the primary compound of the electrolytes in both batteries. Imagine the physical state of the sulfuric acid plus silica compound electrolyte in gel batteries as that of Vaseline gel, hence the battery's name. On the other hand, picture the fiberglass membrane in AGM batteries as the bristle section of a painting brush. These bristles offer microscopic conduits to accommodate the sulfuric acid once the bristles are soaked in acid. AGM and gel batteries vary differently when it comes to performance and efficiency. The jelly-like material in gel batteries gives them a higher internal resistance and, consequentially, low discharge rates. The slower discharges further give the batteries extremely deep cycle performance, resulting in prolonged energy storage and endurance hence increased applicability in long-term energy storage projects. Their slower discharge rates equally disqualify them from higher current applications. On the other hand, the fiberglass membrane offers AGM batteries a low internal resistance, increasing current supply per unit time. This characteristic gives the battery sustainability in high current demand applications, also, due to the differences in internal resistivity, you can recharge the AGM batteries faster than their gel opposites. Since performance and efficiency hugely depend on internal resistivity, clearly internalizing its concepts will aid in understanding its related processes. Imagine internal resistance in gel batteries as the opposition offered to you while swimming through a gel, and that of an AGM battery as the opposition of swimming through water, but in closed conduits. Whether in closed conduits or not, the opposition of swimming through water will be much less than that offered when swimming through a gel. The two also differ in terms of temperature endurance. The AGM batteries are hardly impacted by temperature changes and will operate in wide ranges. The fiberglass mat conductivity is steady even at low temperatures, making AGM batteries more applicable in freezing applications. However, the fiber's conductivity in extremely hot settings deteriorates, limiting AGM in such areas. On the contrary, gel batteries' conductivity is reliable due to the electrolyte's capability to dissipate away heat. However, cold temperatures cripple gel's conductivity due to the electrolyte's limited properties. These characteristics make the gel battery suitable in extremely hot applications, but poor in extremely cold settings. It's worth noting that AGM batteries have a wider temperature range for optimum efficiency, more than gel batteries. Picture AGM batteries as brush bristles and gel batteries as petroleum jelly. Ideally, brush bristles are hardly impacted by temperature changes, compared to petroleum jelly. In fact, low temperatures don't affect brush bristles. However, exposure of the bristles to extremely high temperatures will burn them up. Petroleum jelly will somewhat tolerate high temperatures due to its capability to dissipate the temperatures throughout it. However, very cold temperatures will freeze the petroleum jelly into a solid state, limiting some of its properties. But are there any similarities between AGM and gel batteries? People often confuse the two batteries as they both get recharged, operate on sulfuric-based compounds, and are valve-regulated. To sum up, which is better, AGM or gel batteries? Both AGM and gel are equally better, depending on the intended purpose of the battery. 
If you're looking for a long-life battery, low current supply, minimal maintenance and resilience for extremely hot environments, then you should go for a gel battery. Alternatively, you should settle for an AGM battery if you want a high current supply battery to work in moderate temperatures. Thanks for watching. Till next time.